What's up brick builders? Today's build is the Jedi Weapon Stand, set number 911511. Year it came out was 2015, age group 5+, plus. number of parts 16, cost it was free with the Lego magazine uh, June 2015. Current value if you have the mint sealed uh, foil bag, yep it's a foil bag not a poly bag, £3, not a massive investment, used £1 to £2. <coughs> Hello folks, Sean from Britain Bricks, welcome to another video, um, Jedi Weapon Stand. I thought Jedi's only had um, lightsabers. <laughs> this has got some blaster rifles stuck to it as well. <coughs> Sorry, I've got something stuck in my throat. Um, and uh, yeah, um, let's check it out, shall we? <laughs> Okay, so what you're going to need for this build is you've got a 6x6 inverted uh, radar dish uh, and it's got these little cutouts in there and that is a light bluish grey. Then we've got two dark bluish grey uh, textured bricks, 1x2, uh, we've got uh, horizontal, no vertical uh, lines going down the side there and then horizontal going across. So we've got two of those. we got a four long bar uh, trans light blue we got four long bar trans bright green two metallic silver lightsaber hilts one long blaster rifle one pick it up short blaster rifle Four one by one uh, dark bluish grey uh, plates with clips, and the clips are the thick round clip. There's two other different versions. There's the thin round uh, clip, so the walls of the clip would be a lot thinner, uh, and then there's also the U-shaped clip as well. So as you can see, that is definitely round on the edge there. So there's four of those, and then two two by two light bluish gray plates and one rather cool two by two trans red brick probably my favorite part out of this i'm easily pleased <laughs> very very cool right anyway so start the build off we're going to take the six by six round plate or dish and then we're going to put the bricks on top so we're going to have these bricks with the horizontal line facing out okay side by side like that so horizontal horizontal then we're going to put a uh, two by two light bluish gray plate on top just to hold those together and then we're going to put these clips on now we're going to have these two clips facing us so there's two there on the back end those are going to be for your lightsabers so those are going to be facing us and then we've got a clip on the right hand side at the top and then we've got a clip at the back right there no clip on the left hand side this is going to be for your long blaster rifle this one's going to be for your short blaster rifle these two obviously are going to be for your lightsabers next we're going to put the rather cool 2x2 trans red brick on top makes it look nice and fancy there's a little bit of detail going on there then we can just cap that off with the 2x2 light bluish gray plate and that's the stand done looks very cool then we're going to add the lightsaber or well, the uh the 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 trans colored uh four long bars into the lightsaber hilt now there's apparently there's a right way of doing this and a wrong way of doing this and i believe that's the right way you've got the rings at the top so of the emitter and you got this rather cool notched piece here at the back here for the uh, bottom of the hill I may have got this wrong <laughs> you never know so again pop that in there and we've got the rings at the top and the notches at the bottom those are going to go into these two clips here so they sit nice and side by side like that very cool then we're going to just put the long blaster rifle in first and you're going to put the clip onto the long part of the barrel there 
turn it around sideways slightly because the scope is a little bit big for putting it the other way as you can see it kind of pushes it out so turn it around and then this shorter one now this is a little bit more fiddly because you've only got that little piece there that you can clip it onto you could clip it onto a bit further up but that scope again could get in the way so I'm just gonna slightly turn that around like that I'm gonna turn that inwards just to keep it nice and tidy and there you have the Jedi weapon rack it's a pretty decent build there's not really much to it and I'm, to be honest with you I probably wouldn't be buying this myself for you know buy magazine myself for this particular model there we go folks the Jedi weapon stand it's pretty cool it would look great in some mocks you could take it off the base and just have that particular part there or something like that it just looks really really cool um, I know quite a few people that build uh, Star Wars mocks that I would be really happy to see some people put that into their mocks that would be really really cool uh, for what you get a couple of weapons which is really cool nice uh, additions to your minifigures get this really cool trans red um, brick 2x2 two two brick and you get some contour bricks and you get this pl uh, this radar dish as well which is yeah I mean the parts that you get with it are pretty cool they are pretty cool but would I buy this particular thing for maybe the parts mm, probably not probably not I probably wouldn't um, but uh, yeah each to their own isn't it if you enjoyed the video folks give it a thumbs up if you didn't enjoy the video give it a thumbs down don't be shy let me know in the comments why you didn't like the video why you like the video do you still have this in the mint sealed foil bag i would love to know i would love to know it's not a massive investment but i like to know when people have like the sets that we've been doing and stuff like that especially the older ones oh my gosh 1960 sets and you still got it boxed sealed mm, yes yes i'd like to know <laughs> i'd like to I, I would like to be jealous yes um also don't forget to put your notifications on that's the bell with uh click all uh and you'll get notified for when we go live when we do more build videos and when we do the shorts videos and also not to forget mentioning the community post area in the youtube uh community page um it's it's pretty active uh you'll get notifications when uh we're actually teaming up with other people or we're just putting a shout out for other people's streams as well so that you can join us with that and and you will see myself in there or chatting away or moderating or something like that so yeah come and join the team and be part of the community i'm sean from britain bricks peace